Everyone knows if you name a Minecraft mob Dinnerbone with a name tag it flips it upside down, or if you name a sheep Jeb it turns it into a rainbow party, or everyone remembers when the patch notes used to always say removed Harrowbrine at the end of them as a joke, or Notch's player model dropping an apple when you kill it. However, there are tons of hidden cool old easter eggs in Minecraft history that you probably forgot about at some point. I know I have, so let's look back at some of those forgotten easter eggs that are super interesting. I'm a Java player, but there are a couple removed legacy console easter eggs that were pretty iconic yet not really talked about a whole lot that I'd like to start with. In the legacy console TU12 and TU13 tutorial worlds, on top of the sandstone pyramid sits four gold blocks on top of an obsidian block. This is called the Tower of Pimps, and is a reference to Achievement Hunter's Minecraft Let's Play series where it is a staple since episode 2 when Gavin Free created it. In legacy console tutorial world TU19, there is an island on the northeast side of the world containing Stampy Longhead's iconic house, as well as his SS Stumpy boat. Sadly, these are the only two references to creators who completely shaped the game, but as someone who is a huge fan of both Achievement Hunter and Stampy, it's definitely amazing to see. Now, there is a text document that lists every splash text referenced in the Minecraft title screen. It is called splashes.txt. There is a very curious entry in there that reads, this message will never appear on the splash screen, isn't that weird? And true to its name never appearing in the splash text, except in Legacy Console Edition. Though this is widely thought of to be an unintentional mistake on the part of Mojang, it was never fixed and is an easter egg in the splash's text document in and of itself regardless of intention. Like I said in the intro, the easter eggs you probably know and love and remember are ones that are encountered in the actual game. That being said, you may have never heard that there are so many easter eggs hidden in the Minecraft files, some that are hard to find and some that are a little more obvious. One of the main ways Mojang put easter eggs in the files was via textures. There are dozens of interesting ones and they can be found by unzipping Minecraft's client.jar and going through them. A lot of the textures are signed via invisible pixels by the Mojang employee who designed them. For example, for example, Jeb signed the Elder Guardian and Normal Guardian textures, adding his name to the bottom right. However, this was removed in version 1.14 as a part of the texture update. One of my favorite instances of this has been hidden in the texture for Zombie Pigmen for over a decade now. It reads, Thanks, Zophobia. Zophobia was not an employee of Mojang ever, but was an avid fan of Alpha Minecraft and created fun player skins as a hobby. Imagine their surprise when Notch, planning the Alpha 1.2 Halloween update containing the Nether, approached them to use the zombie pigmen skin texture they had made for fun as something intended for players to use. That and then to have credit in the texture is just a super cool piece of Minecraft history and awesome for Zophobia. And speaking of invisible pixels, one thing you may not know is that Alex, the first first default player skin other than Steve ever to be released actually has glasses in the texture. This is because Alex is meant to be a sort of representation of Jeb, Minecraft's co-founder, and Jeb wears glasses in real life. Strangely too, the invisible pixels when revealed show Alex with weird versions of Steve's arms, which I'm not really sure why. Not sure if this one is an easter egg, but Blazes, who famously basically have no body, have a body in their texture file. This might just be intended to be placeholders, but the fact that it's fairly detailed means it could be an old idea for Blazes left in as an easter egg. A similar thing was done with the zombie texture. When zombie villagers were added, so was a zombie villager head to the zombie texture file. Of course, this is hidden in the game, and I think the reasoning for this is because they probably used the zombie texture file to create the zombie villager head, but to leave it in there is a cool way to commemorate that moment in history. The last texture easter eggs I'll go through involve capes. The undersides of some of Minecraft's capes contain some interesting stuff not normally seen since, well, you can't really see the underside of a cape easily. For example, the turtle cape underside has the underbelly of a turtle. The Chinese and Japanese translator capes have tiny Chinese and Japanese flags respectively underneath. And the birthday cape, which is one of my personal favorites, has a gold star underneath. It's shape kind of reminds me of how classic Mario stars used to look, which makes it even better. One of the most legendary and influential Mojang employees ever is Sarge, or Michael Stoike. Sarge is most well known for founding and designing the Mod Coder Pack, a massive set of tools to help mod developers more easily create mods for the game. However, Sarge had a bit of a liking for easter eggs and in-game secrets, and used to run a fun game around when he first started by adding in secret things to Minecraft snapshots and sitting back and waiting for people to tweet about it. It was, well, a different time of Minecraft when the game felt smaller 
and the community felt closer. Some of those secrets include adding in a book in end ships to one of the 1.9 snapshots that read, we will have something soon, signed by Sarge, referencing the elytra being added to the game and inside of the end ships. Sarge designed the armor stand, and in the armor stand texture, similar to some of the other texture Easter eggs we talked about, he secretly signed it along with Jappa. Sarge also helped massively with the implementation of the command block, and of course added a lot of goofy things along with it. Like Sarge says, where running slash help with a command block in versions before 1.13 gives you a funny list of possible text responses from Sarge. That functionality was removed in 1.13 and sadly, and I'm not sure if this is just Sarge taking his role more seriously or Mojang cracked down on inserting too many of these jokes, Sarge announced that his secret feature fun was over, saying it was quote, a bit old. Everyone knows about the weird special languages you can switch your game to, like Pirate Speak, Shakespearean English, or Upside Down English. However, there is a lesser known Easter egg where if you type Excited Z into the recipe book search bar, it will switch your game language to Pirate Speak. This is a reference to Maria Limon, a former Mojang staff member with the in game name Excited Z. The reason for this Easter egg is that her, along with longtime texture pack creator turned Mojang employee Raz, are responsible for creating the Parrot Mob. Pretty cool to see an homage to that. Now this one is pretty well known, but I still find it interesting. A long time ago, the EDM artist Deadmau5 was very publicly a huge fan of Minecraft, snagging an account with the Deadmau5 username pretty much right away. Notch thought this was pretty cool and custom coded a skin just for him, complete with the iconic mouse head and ears from his shtick in real life. This is the only instance of a custom coded skin like this to my knowledge, which makes it really special. This is only attached to the username, not the unique user ID given to the Deadmau5 account. So using something like Betacraft to easily change your in-game name, you can see this in action as it's still in the code to this day. Everyone knows the Halloween Easter egg where every mob gets a pumpkin on their head on Halloween, and this has been one since version 1.4.2. But did you know that the pumpkin head fun also extends to spider jockeys? Because I didn't. And lastly for this video, as I talked about in the first section, another splash text easter egg involving splashes.txt that I absolutely love. In the older versions of the game, I'm talking Minecraft Alpha to, I believe, release version 1.14, deleting splashes.txt from your Minecraft files without also deleting the infamous meta in folder led to your splash text on the Minecraft menu always saying missing no. This was purposefully made as a reference to the famous glitched Pokemon Missing No found in the first few Pokemon games, which came as a result of reading a null ID value in those Pokemon games. A super interesting piece of this easter egg is that in alpha version 1.0.12, splashes.txt did not yet exist as it was in development. However, the Missing No splash text was implemented already, and that being said, your menu in alpha 1.0.12 will always say Missing no no matter what, which is just kind of awesome. This sadly was changed to what's called a zero width no break space, a Unicode character that's meant to handle blank information like this. Deleting the splashes text file nowadays displays the splash as ZWNBS in today's versions of the game. Sad because missing no was a huge part of my own childhood, so I'm not really sure the point of the decision to remove it. And so what other Easter eggs do you remember in Minecraft history? There are quite a few of them, especially for holidays like Halloween and April Fools, and I always love Easter eggs in games in general. They're such an entertaining way to connect dev and player, and Minecraft is no stranger to that. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like it, be sure to subscribe and like the video as it helps me out a ton. Let me know any other ideas you have in the comments or on my lovely Discord server, link in the description. I love you all so, so very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Special thanks to my channel members on these signs, especially my Knights Crimson, Thomas Wellman Boyd, Melon Siggy, Caden TMG, Ferret Wolf 95, Ponytail MC, Chris the Bear, Fantic, Avinium, and Henetic 02, and my beloved Lord members Eve of Death, Names Unknown, Stormhot, Vapichu, Jake P2013, Spilical, Alas, A Blair, Lilia Blue, Gunslinger Zack, the AB Railfan, Jazz This, Tor Willem, and Dirty Dan.